How's it going guys? I wanted to take a few minutes today to actually do a tabletop review of a holster that I have had now for probably a little over six months. And uh, after using this holster for a while, I thought that it was about time to give you guys a little bit of a review of it. This is the 1791 gun leather inside the waistband holster. Uh, this is one that I got back last summer as of the time that I'm recording this video. And I have been using it for a while now and just thought that I would tell you guys a little bit about my experiences with it. If you have been following my channel for a while, you will know that I am a little bit of a fan of 1791 gun leather holsters. I think that they are a very good quality holster for uh, the money. But uh, that is a matter of my opinion. Now, there's other people that may have a different view out there. Feel free to share yours down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on them as well. Of course, this particular holster is for my Glock 19 Gen 4. Uh, this is a gun that has been in a ton of my videos. It is a gun that is uh, carried regularly. And it is one that I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with. Now, for you safety sallies out there, this gun is one of my concealed carry firearms, and it is loaded. So, for the purposes of this video, we're going to make sure that it is safe. Okay, now, currently no magazine, nothing in the chamber. But this is uh, usually loaded, so I'm sure some of you guys out there would probably freak out. In fact, I know you will. But this particular holster is one that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, inside the waistband, the leather is very thick. If you were to look just at a single layer of this particular holster, there are some people that uh, don't like thick leather. This one is not an overly thick leather for an inside the waistband holster. Uh, but it is a probably, in my opinion, I think possibly a, a very happy medium, uh, you know, as far as its overall thickness. The exterior of the majority of the holster is like a suede. And as far as this portion of it here, it kind of makes it uh, the way that it rides, the way that it feels, it is very comfortable to wear. Some of the features of this particular holster, of course, is the fact that it does have a sweat guard, which makes wearing a firearm all day much more comfortable. Okay, I do have the beaver tail on my Glock, so it does come up a little bit past, but not very much. And with that extra thickness right there, that extra padding, it does not bite when I wear this holster. Uh, if you guys have uh, followed my uh, backup channel, Beyond the Boom, I will link it down in the description below. You've probably seen some of the videos that uh, I did last year where we were down in Panama on vacation. During that time, this is the holster that I was wearing. This is one that I took with me down there and it performed very well. Wearing it all day long, it was very comfortable, and I had no issues with it. Uh, of course, the clip on this particular holster, very thick, it's steel, it grips very well. Now, the way that they made this holster, you can see here, of course, it is uh, wrapped around, basically wrapped around the gun. It's just a big piece of leather that is wrapped around the gun, and then on the leather one thing that they do as far as like the sweat guard the front where the clip is that is an additional layer of leather that has been glued as well as stitched on just to give you guys a close-up of the stitching on this particular holster you can see there that it is very nice very smooth Okay, all the way around, it is. It just flows just the way that it should. The where the holster joins, you can see that it is double stitched. 
around through there. That way this holster is not going to come apart on you. Uh, the edges are very smooth. Now, of course, I've been using this one, so mine has had a little bit of wear on it, but it's wearing very well. I think that it is a very comfortable holster, very well-made holster, and one that I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, it's just been sitting here, and I recently went through my safe going through looking at a few things and realized that I had not done a long-term review on this particular holster. Now in full disclosure guys, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this holster with my own money. I bought it from 1791 Gun Leather just like I have all of my others. You know, they have not sponsored any of the videos that I've done on their holsters and uh, I just like them. I think that they're a very well-made holster. This Glock 19, as many of you all are aware, I do have the XS Big Dot sights on it. That front sight post is a little larger, and for some holsters that can be an issue. However, for this one, no problem whatsoever. It will slide in. As you can see, there is plenty of clearance inside that holster. Okay. No problem whatsoever. It does not snag. It fits in there good. It's not going to come out. You know, the gun is not going to come out. Now, when you're wearing this holster, there is going to be just a little bit of compression in it. Uh, it does not compress as far as some of the thinner leather holsters, and that's why I say I think that this is a good compromise thickness on the leather. If you get one that's real thick, it's going to be uncomfortable to wear. If you get one that's real thin, it can collapse much easier. Uh, of course, this one will give some, so if you are going to use a holster like this, it is recommended that you uh, put the firearm in the holster and then put the whole um, assembly, put the whole thing into however you're going to carry it. And if you are ever draw your firearm, take the holster out, put the gun back in it, and then put the whole thing back in. That's the safe method for drawing and carrying and using a holster like this. You don't want to run the risk of having a negligent discharge trying to reholster. Because again, it does have a little bit of give in it, and when you have this in your waistline, it will collapse slightly. Okay, not as flat as some other holsters do, but it does collapse slightly. But other than that, uh, there's no issues with this holster. Like I say, this is a holster that I bought, that I use, and it works very well. Uh, typically, I will wear an outside the waistband holster uh, with just a shirt over it. And of course, that is the area of the la that I live in. It is very common to see people open carrying, conceal carrying, uh, things like that. You know, it's just, it's, it's accepted in my area. But if I do go somewhere that I'm not sure about, or if it's a little less accepted, I will typically use a holster like this one, or well, most of the time it's this holster, uh, because it allows me to go inside the waistband a little more concealed, and it is a very, very nice holster, in my opinion. You know, leather holster, if you're a fan of leather, uh, which I am, I really like leather holsters, it is great, you know. But guys, I uh, just thought I'd take a few minutes and show this one to you. I'll put a link to it down in the description below. And let me know your thoughts. Have you used any of the 1791 Gun Leather holsters? If you have, what are your thoughts on them? Leave that down in the comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. But guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Be sure to check out all the links down below. Visit my website at boomsticktactical.com, and we'll see you next time.